and we're going to look at untuck it this round one of the first things i want to cover is who this is for and then how they're marketing it so who untuck it is uh you know primarily shirts for men um that you know don't want to really want to un that or don't want to tuck in their shirts um and then how they're marketing it they're large enough now where they have a ton of like physical retail footprint and most of their marketing is spread out across like larger uh, format channels like TV ads. So you're sitting at a bar, you're watching a sports game, you see an untuck it ad. That's one of the primary angles of which they're acquiring customers. So a lot of this traffic is going to the homepage. Um, the other piece is like how people shop the category. So this is clothing, it's men's clothing. Um, so it, a lot of it is going to be tied to like looking at all the different styles they have, the different angles, et cetera. And then the last piece I wanna call it is timing. This is summertime. And everything that they're featuring right here on the homepage is designed for summer. The summer styles, um, lightweight linens, what's new for summer, et cetera. They're calling it out right up front. One of the things that I would adjust is be, because they're so specific, I'll like, you know, you don't want to tuck in the shirt. This is designed to be untucked, is making this untuck a difference higher. Obviously, all the content that's leading people to the site is going to reinforce that. But just having that one extra piece, I think, would be really, really killer. Um, one little thing is uh, consistency. So if we click into this hero uh, collection, we get to the all men's shirts. But if we click into the men's section, we're actually taken to the vacation essentials. If like they should, they should make sure that it's uh, consistent across the thing. Um, and then also on all of the collection pages, I think it'd be great to have this hero section to kind of contextualize exactly what someone can expect as they shop through. So going back here. Um, one of the things that I want to call out is, you know, a big part of the Untuck It story is sizes, and everybody is about the same body type here. So having some diversity in sizing in the content would be very helpful. On the product page itself, they've got amazing size and uh, fit selectors and gives you all the uh, measurements so you know exactly what to pick. But again, when you switch, you don't actually get to see someone in that different size. This is not an extra, extra, extra large. Um, and this is, you know, it's just not kind of consistent with what you would want to see as a consumer. Um, I will say this how to wear it section is a great way from like a content and commerce perspective to kind of carry on that story. Um, so I would I would just add the content of like, you know, all the different sizes that'd be a, a big win. Um, on the mobile, one of the things that I'll call out is, you know, these sections look great, big, beautiful on uh, on desktop, but I would actually try to compress these and make them smaller images so you can actually shop across different categories. And then on the PDP section, um, I would uh, um, add some uh, like call outs on like Bopus. If you have physical mm -hmm. stores, if you can plug in, definitely want to um, call out that maybe you can go pick stuff up right in store. And that's three minutes.